Hey, Mike Hobbs here, and I wanted to talk about the subject college today. Uh, should you have your kids go to college? Okay, uh, and this is a big uh, touchy subject because, you know, there's a lot of entrepreneurs, there's a lot of people that have generated wealth without college, without schooling in that aspect. Um, and there's a lot of people who have, you know, had success that never went to college, but they 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 want their kids to go to college because they didn't go, or you know you know what I mean. There's a, there's a whole bunch of stories like that. In fact, just think about yourself. You know, did, what did you, what is your take on college? Do you have you had success in our industry, and do you want your kids to go to college? Just think about that question for a second. Now, there was something really interesting that you know I, I actually talked to somebody uh, who's a who's a pretty big entrepreneur. And, and about the subject. And here's, here's what he said. He's like, you know what? I understand that college, all that does is educate someone to get a job for someone else. Even the business degrees, believe it or not, if you go get a business degree, all they do is teach you how to run a business. So basically they teach you how to work for a business owner and run their business. They don't teach you how to own the business. They don't teach you how to be the owner. They teach you how to work for the business. Okay. They teach you how to have a job. Really that's all education does. Uh, college education is they teach you how to get a good paying job. Now are jobs good paying nowadays? Not really, <laughs> but, but that's what, that's what the purpose of college is now. But here's the thing. He said, but I still want my kids to go so that they can learn how to learn. And that was interesting to me. I was like, wow, you know, he has a good point there because they do have, they do teach you how to learn stuff very well, you know, how to study and, and how to get good on the test and, and just kind of go through education and actually follow through on education. So if there's one thing about college that I love, it's the fact that they do, that does teach you how to follow through on your education, okay? Get good grades and all that kind of stuff, okay? They, they do teach you how to learn very, very well. But as far as the actual education, will it help you become wealthy? Will that knowledge help you in any way? In my opinion, no. Now, here's why. I personally, you know, I do a webinar every day almost probably Monday through Friday every day sometimes I miss a day if, if you know if I have a family event or you know I'm at a, a live marketing event or something like that but I do a webinar every single day and we cover Q&A every single day and I've been doing this for years at least two years consistently and then before that I did webinars as well just a little bit here and there but here's the cool thing I actually had someone comment the other day they're like how the heck do you know so much like because every question that I ever get almost 90 plus percent of the time I have an answer for so it doesn't matter what it is it could be a technical question it can be a marketing question it can be a capture page question I mean it doesn't matter little tiny things here and there and I'm able to answer all these questions okay and, and it blew them away and, and they asked me, how the heck did you learn all this stuff or why do you know so much? Well, because I believe in education. I learn and I learn by doing things, okay? I learn by going through different courses, internet marketing courses, uh, by actually taking action on those courses, actually doing the marketing myself. So I'm in the game and I'm learning everything so that when people ask me questions, I know the answers. So people would probably look at me like, wow, you're like a internet marketing encyclopedia. <laughs> okay. And you know, I'm not, I'm not bragging or anything. I'm just telling you guys what I've, I've noticed other people asking me and things like that. They, they think I'm like this internet marketing encyclopedia. Did that come from college? No, here's the, the real weird, crazy thing about all this, this whole video, this whole subject. I failed in high school to the point where I didn't graduate on time. I literally got, I, I completely failed my ninth grade year. 
I did okay in 10th grade and 11th grade. I completely boshed 11th grade as well. So I was two years behind in my senior year. And I went crazy my senior year just to graduate because I wanted to join the military. Okay, and you have to have a degree to join the military. So I went crazy that senior year and I ended up not even uh, graduating on time. Okay, I, it took me an extra year to graduate from high school. A lot of people don't know this, but there was a time where I was in summer school, five English classes. I failed all my English classes. I had five English classes in a row. Okay, I actually started learning a lot about English because I did English, 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 five different classes in a row during summer school. So it was definitely an interesting time. But I'm just throwing out a point there. I went to college on six different semesters and I only finished one completely. All the other semesters I, I dropped out or I failed, I hated it. I, I didn't get good grades whatsoever. Okay, I hated school, I hated that education, I hated going through all that, I, I didn't like what I was learning. The only classes I actually passed were things like accounting and, uh, you know, economics and things like that. Uh, those are really the only classes that I, I actually were interested in and uh, passed, okay? Uh, and that's what the crazy thing is, is I went through all that, I wasn't very good at school. I failed at school, literally. I couldn't write a book report if my life depended on it. I don't even know what to say. It's like, wow, I, I read, I'm read. i reading this book and I really don't even know what to say on this book report. Okay, so, so the bottom line is people know me as this internet marketing encyclopedia, yet I failed all through college, all through high school, uh, you know, I got bad grades when I was in elementary too. You know, I, I really didn't like school. Okay, so how did I do that? Well, because I invest in the right education. And here's what I want you to start doing and start thinking about. Start thinking about how you want to raise your kids. If you want them to go to college, then let them go to college to learn how to learn. Because that's one thing I, I do admit. You know, I if I would have finished college or whatever, I probably would have been able to uh, learn how to do a little bit more, you know, things that you don't really need, you know, like uh, book reports and, and writing and things like that, um, that you can outsource, fortunately. <laughs> um, but, you know, there is, some, there is some value in college. So if you want your kids to go to college, send them to college. But I want to encourage you to to get them in front of education to be an entrepreneur, okay? Start playing games with them like the cash flow quadrant, investing games, uh, money games, you know, start, start getting them in front of entrepreneur type of education at a young age, okay, at a young age. Because here's the thing, even if they, if you want them to go to college to learn how to learn, that's all they're going to learn from that. They're not going to, you don't want them to go work for someone else for the rest of their life and have that be their only job or their only way to retire or their only way to make any money. I'm telling you right now, in this economy, in this day and age, you have got to be an entrepreneur type person. And if you don't, start them at a young age, they will just conform to what school is teaching them. Get, go to school, get a job, and that's all they'll ever amount to anything, okay? So in my opinion, there's three industries that, that you should really teach your kids to, to, uh, to go through, and this is my opinion. Number one is being an entrepreneur. Two is some type of artistical you know, skill, and athlete, sports. Because if you can teach them those three things, you'll teach them discipline, you'll teach them how to be creative, and you'll teach them how to make money in a bad economy. You create your own economy. You create your own economy by being an entrepreneur. By being an artist, you have creativity. So if you teach them you know, instruments or uh, you know, how to draw and things like that, artistical type of things, okay? And sports, that's discipline, it's teamwork, 
uh, it, it really is great stuff. And, and those are really the only three industries that I know that people are free. Okay, you know, people who are, you know, professional athletes, people who are, you know, professional musicians and people who are uh, professional entrepreneurs. Yes, there's a, there's a chance that they'll fail at those but there's also a chance to live a life that they, they deserve. So those are the three industries I think you should be teaching your kids how to, to become. And I think we should be straying away from teaching them to work for someone else and running someone else's business. Now you can, you can like I said, tell them to go to college, to learn how to learn, but also teach them the skills in those three other industries so that they have a chance. They have a chance to make some money or have a good lifestyle just like you. So anyway, my friends, make it a great day. If you want to find out more about our team, find out below and I'll see you guys in the next video.